When I heard about a black powder shooting competition going on at the Warland Shooting Complex, I had to go check it out. What better way to spend a weekend than to shoot the old fashioned way at flying orange birds with some good company. And as somebody who had been living in Wyoming for three months and had yet to fire a gun here, it might finally be my time. Frank Elze, director of the Wyoming Muzzle Loaders Association, and Don Olson, its former president, let my crew and I into their shoot and gave us the skinny on the black powder game. He hits him. You know, if you got powder on the tip, it has to be covered. The only way that this powder is going to go off is with a spark or, a, or a, a, a source for flame. So it's perfectly safe back here. The, thing, the only unsafe part of it is everybody here is old. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's go shoot. We're going to get a nice side shot of you shooting that gun. Yeah, yeah, suck it in. That's a lot of pressure, you know. Yeah, I know, but it's good for you. Don't let being on TV bother you, Dave. Oh. Did I get that? Good yep. shot, man. And it's on TV. On. <laughs> this is trap. This is trap where everything comes out of this one house. Oh. On the skeet, we have a high house and a low house. So when you call for a bird, your first shot will come out over the top of your head. Your second shot will come out about waist high, come right at you. And then you move around to change your angles. The angles of the birds never change. You change. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough game. Shoot him, shoot him. You didn't shoot him, for God's sakes. The lost bird, free bird, whatever the hell he is. Along with the rest of the folks trying their best at the range, Ben and his gal Lindsay came out to test their sight, shoot the skeet, and defend last year's title. Oh. There you go. How can you miss that nice straightaway and then break something like that? I'm Ben Elze. Uh, I'm here because my father puts this on and I'm forced to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm here because I love doing it. Uh, been shooting black powder since he's just a little guy. Just a good, cheap way to spend the afternoon, I guess. Tell the truth, you came over here to follow her. And yeah, and she makes me come too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a, we had to come because she's got to uphold her reign. She was yeah. the women's champion last year, so. By default. <laughs> there you go. I'm Lindsay Washkoviak. I come because I'm his girlfriend and I do get dragged along <laughs> every year, but it's fun. That's mostly just for fun. Here we go, Ben. You gotta hit it, we need something to eat. Bring meat to the table, you can't bring a gun to the table. That was the head off your club. The reason Elsie and I got the shotgun thing started, we've all shot uh, rifles and pistols and most all of it at paper targets. And you know what each target is every time before you shoot it and whatnot because they keep record scores and so forth with them. And so you, you, we got tired of shooting at paper. And this is a little different angle on it. Uh, it's no easier. <laughs> but a lot of people are not aware that this goes on. And there's a lot of shooters around the country that like kind of goofy stuff and may come and join in. And that's what we're after. We'd like to have a lot of people. Boy, you'd have hit that one if you had powder in there. While the old Dusty Krusties were taking up most of the spots on the roster, newcomer Katie joined the competition to try something new and to add some New Mexico flair to the mix. The little lady is going to get him. Shoot, shoot him, shoot him. There you go. Well, I came over my lunch break to check it out, and they let me shoot, and it was pretty exciting then. So I'm interested to learn for sure. I grew up on a ranch in New Mexico and we would shoot trap and go hunting and stuff like that, but I've never done muzzle loading before, so. Bill Morrison is the president for the Wyoming Muzzle Loaders Association and we work in the same office. So when I got to work this morning, there was a flyer on my desk about it because I mentioned to him that I was interested in shooting and finding places to shoot around town, but I definitely have to watch and learn more <laughs> before I am good at it. <laughs> I'm not very loud. Paul. Paul. Nice. <laughs> Good shot. Okay, you see that hole right there? Well, when this, this has got powder in it, this pan. 
and you close that. And then when he pulls the trigger, ahead, the rocks, the rocks harder. See the spark come off of there? Yeah. The rock's harder than the steel, so it puts little shavings of steel. So it catches this powder, it goes through that hole to set off the main charge. And what you don't want to do is be standing about right where you're at when this thing goes off, because it spits. Yeah. The spits. Pressure, pressure coming out that hole yeah. the same as it comes out the end of the barrel. Yeah. Flint shooters, if we're shooting on the line, they always announce, you know, flint, so the guy at the right hand side can know to either do this or step aside. So Unless you don't like him much. Anymore. Yeah, then you don't say anything. <laughs> he just hears the sizzle of his ear. <laughs> I'm going to put some powder in here. And then we'll put an uh, over powder wad in. It's a, a thicker kind of a cardboard wad. And this gun loads a little hard because it's got a choke in it. Okay, we'll see if we can get this wad down on top of that powder. Then we'll take a fiber wad and uh, put that on top of there. It's kind of a cushion for your shot. Then we'll get some shot, and I'm shooting one and a quarter ounces of shot. Then we'll put another little light wad on top of that. It's the overshot wad to keep the BBs from falling out. Well, with any luck, it's all ready to fire now, so we'll go over there and see what happens. Well, the moment of truth had arrived. After watching all day, it was time for me to take my shot. You don't know which way they're coming out. Oh, yeah. It could come out over here or come out over there. And on a shotgun, you point it, you don't aim it. So You can look down at it if you want. <laughs> so where, about how high is it going to get? It's hard to tell. It'll just come out. And so all you want to do is just catch that bird, you See, know. Get on it. And pull the trigger. And it'll yeah. go just like that. That's what it's supposed to do anyway. That's what it's supposed to do anyway. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Hey, hey, hey! That's what I'm talking it. about! <laughs> you got it? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> well, it looks like playing all those video games is finally paying off. After a weekend of good weather and good shooting, everybody convened at headquarters where money traded hands, tallies were counted, and awards were given to the sharpest eye. All in all, it was a great event for everybody. The shoot went really well. This was my second day ever doing this. We did the 10 yards, 10 birds shot, and I got second in that. I was the, there was only two girls, but I did better than yesterday. And then we did the 16 yards, 15 birds, and um, got first place in that, so that was exciting. Um, I think that it made me appreciate each shot more because you're not just going and putting a, a shell in the chamber and going, you have to load everything yourself and so it gives you a greater respect for it. I don't know, it was a great weekend. Uh, defending champion, got to win two gold medals and took second to Katie, which is awesome. I'm so happy she came. Can't wait to come back next year and defend my championship. More women should come out so I have challengers. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, this was our third shoot at the Wallen Complex. We had a great turnout. We had plenty of shooters this year. We had more women shooters this year than we had last year, which we'll hopefully we'll have more next year. And uh, with the turnout this year, everybody was excited uh, to do this shoot again next year. So next year will be bigger and better. And uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> Bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, but they're all in the bush. <laughs> <laughs>